Kayaks are fun, but what the heck are they made out of anyway? Early kayaks were made by hand, using animal skins and bones, and wooden tree bark. Unfortunately, they took too long to make, weren't user-friendly to new paddlers, and required constant maintenance. Nowadays, kayaks are built using four main processes, composite, roto-molding, blow-molding, and thermal-forming. Composite kayaks use resin, fiberglass, and Kevlar, and or carbon fibers, which are applied by hand in layers on a framework. The result is a high-end kayak that's very light, rigid, and fast, but also fragile and non-recyclable. A composite kayak takes a long time to make, and the process is expensive and hazardous, both to the environment and to the craftsman. The second process is called roto-molding. It involves melting plastic powder in a gyrating mold that's heated up. The liquid plastic fills every nook and cranny in the mold before being cooled down. When the mold is opened, you get a traffic cone, or a septic tank, or a kayak. Roto-molding is a versatile process when it comes to shapes and colors. However, it's an inefficient operation that inflates pricing and produces heavy kayaks. Plus, since the process involves melting, it changes the plastic's molecular structure, weakening the material. Next, let's talk blow molding. Here, a tube of melted plastic is inserted into a mold and then blown into shape by air pressure. It's fast and great for making plastic containers, but the kayaks are heavy, limited in shape, and unsophisticated. And finally, thermal forming, or in Pelican's case, twin sheet thermal forming, or TST. High molecular weight polyethylene is like a sandwich, extruded into a three-ply sheet of extremely tough plastic. This is different from the low and medium density polyethylene used in other processes. Plastic used in TST is lighter, more rigid, and impact resistant. Two plastic sheets are heated up and draped over a mold, one for the deck and one for the hull. This allows for the insertion of flotation blocks for added buoyancy. When those two pieces are fused together using high heat and pressure, they become inseparable. In fact, the strongest part of the boat is the fused seam. The result is a kayak that's light, rigid, durable, and that regains its shape even after significant impact. This precision engineering process is the most efficient to produce kayaks, giving customers more bang for their buck. Plus, the whole thing can be recycled. And there you have it. Choose your kayak wisely, and we'll see you out on the water.